Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gaming here. And as you all know by now, the NVIDIA 900 series has been released. The GTX 970 and 980 are finally here. So, for the PC gamers out there who just won't settle for anything but the best hardware in their systems, I'm guessing food has now lost its taste, colours now seem dull, and things that used to matter just don't quite seem to matter anymore, at least until you get one of these in your system. So what does this all mean for an AMD R9 290 owner like myself? Just how much more performance do you get from the new offerings from NVIDIA? Now I've been looking online at a few reviews for the GTX 980 and 970 and I am actually impressed more so by the TDP. I mean, I don't know what the manufacturers of 1250 um, watt power supplies and 1500 watt power supplies are going to do because if this is a sign of things to come you're never going to need um, something that powerful. Anyway, wherever possible I've been comparing uh, results with my AMD R9290 with the GTX 970 and 980. I don't actually own a GTX 970 or 980 so this is a bit of a poor man's comparison but hopefully um, it should kind of give you an idea of just how much more performance um, you would actually gain if you were to go out to the store and grab one of these if you're already an AMD R9290 owner or R9290X owner. So the benchmarks and games I'm going to be using for this comparison will be 3D Mark Vantage 3D Mark 11, 3D Mark Firestrike, Unigine Valley, Tomb Raider, and Battlefield 4. Before I start the test, let me quickly run you through my system. I'm using an Intel 3570K, which is overclocked to 4.7 GHz. The motherboard is an ASRock Z77 Extreme 4. I'm using an AMD R9290 reference design which is overclocked to 1200 MHz on the core and 1600 MHz on the memory. It also does have an EK water block installed. I'm using 8GB of Corsair Dominator DDR3 RAM which runs at 1600 MHz. Latencies are 8.8.8.24. It does run at 1600 MHz but it says 800 there, that's because of its double data rate, so you basically times 800 by 2 to get 1600 MHz. And last but not least, I've got a OCZ Agility 3 solid state drive. So that's about it for the specs. Um, time to move on to the benchmarks. The first test I'm going to run is the 3D Mark Vantage benchmark. I'm going to be comparing my overclocked R9290 to the results of the GTX 970 and 980 from a website called KitGuru. They have chosen only to run the graphics tests from the 3D Mark performance preset. So I'm going to do the same and present you with the results. So I've just completed the 3D Mark Vantage performance preset and my overclocked R9290 was able to score 49,387 on a GPU score. KitGuru's GTX 980 was able to score 50,432 on a GPU score. That was at stock when they overclocked the card. They were able to score 53,934 and that's with the GTX 980 running at 1329 MHz on the core and 1753 MHz on the memory. The GTX 970 at stock 
only scored 46,508. The next test I'm going to do is 3D Mark 11. Um, nothing special this time, it's literally just open and run the performance preset. And once the benchmark's finished, I'll present the results and compare them with Kit Guru's GTX 970 and GTX 980. Okay, so here are my results. My overclocked R9-290 was able to score 17,742 on the graphics score. Uh, Kit Guru's GTX 980 was able to score 17,382 at stock. When they overclocked the GTX 980 to 1,329 on the core and 1,753 on the memory, the score jumped up to 19,881 which is pretty damn beast just a little short of 20,000 on a graphic score so that's really really impressive the GTX 970 scored 15,990 15, so it's a uh, pretty far behind um, an overclocked GTX 980. Now the next test I'm going to do will be how will be 3D Mark Fire Strike. Nothing fancy about this one, literally just open and run the Fire Strike benchmark. Um, once that's finished I'll come back and compare the results with Kit Guru's GTX 980 and 970. <laughs> So here are the results from 3D Mark Fire Strike. My overclocked R9 290 was able to score 13,223 on the graphic score. While Kit Guru's GTX 980 scored 12,845 at stock settings on the graphic score. Now once the card was overclocked, the score jumped up to 14,346 on a graphic score and that was with an overclock of 1329 on the core and 1753 megahertz on the memory and that's a pretty impressive score I was pretty shocked um, when looking at the GTX 980 um, specs compared to the GTX 780 Ti it doesn't look more superior but um, the GTX 90, 980 still outperforms it the GTX 970 was only able to score 11,293 11, on the graphics score so not quite in the same league as an overclocked uh, GTX 980 the next test I'm going to be doing is Unigen Valley 1.0 and I'm going to be comparing results from my website called BitTech this time as uh, Kit Guru felt that they wasn't going to do um, 1920 by 1080 results so I had to look for results from another website anyway I found this website called BitTech and the settings they used for this test was full screen, AA off and ultra detail. So I'm going to run the test with these settings and bring you the results.
So here are the results from Unigine Valley Benchmark 1.0. My overclocked R9290 was able to score 4,326 on a graphics score, while Bittex GTX 980 at stock was able to score 4,890 as a total score. So definitely a considerable difference in performance between um, and heavily overclocked um, R9290 and a stock GTX 980 but then we always known that um, NVIDIA has always had um, better tessellation performance when it comes to DirectX 11 so no surprise there unfortunately BitTech doesn't have um, GTX 970 results um, so I can't show you those but the 980 definitely outpaces the R9 290 by quite some margin. So that's it for the synthetic benchmarks. Now it's time for some games. Next up is Tomb Raider. Um, I'll be comparing results with Kit Guru's GTX 980. These are the settings they use for ultimate quality preset. FXAA was enabled plus press effects was enabled so I'm going to make sure I have settings at 1920 by 1080 and I'm also going to be using the ultimate preset FXAA is also enabled and press effects is enabled so I'm going to run this benchmark now and come back with the results So here are the results. My overclocked R9290 was able to score a minimum of 66 frames per second, a maximum of 112 frames per second, and an average frames per second of 85.2. Now Kit Guru's GTX 980 at stock was able to do 72 frames per second minimum and 95 frames per second average while overclocked it was able to do 77 frames per second minimum and 99 frames per second average the GTX 970 was able to do 62 frames per second minimum and 80 frames per second average so the GTX 980 again showing its muscle even at stock it more than enough for an overclocked R9290 and when you overclock it, it further walks away with with the lead so it's definitely um, a card with a lot of muscle and very very capable at 1920 by 1080 so I finally arrived at the last test which is Battlefield 4 for the test I'm going to do what BitTech did and that's run a 60 second benchmark at the beginning of the 6th campaign level called Tashgar. The results will be recorded with fraps and then I will compare the results with the GTX 980. So these are the settings that were used. 1920 by 1080 DirectX 11 70 field of view 100 on a resolution scale and the ultra graphics preset and the campaign level is Tashgar and we will be recording the first 60 seconds of the campaign level fucking piece of shit do you need me to drive Irish? I... I'm good Hen, I got it I'll come up and join you. We're not gonna last much longer without food or water. 
Watch our backs, Rucker. I'll fall to the goddamn airbase. You sure you're okay? Let me take the wheel. That's the last thing I would do, Hannah. Why can't you trust me, Irish? Man, give me a break. I don't know shit about you, Hannah. Where's your loyalty anyway? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah? Try me. I brought Jinja to me by parents, their siblings, and their children. I wanted them to have hope. Next day, Shane's troops came in and killed them all. Burned the whole village down. Slow down. Wow. My turn to say I didn't know. So, with the Fraps benchmarking tool, I was able to achieve with my overclocked R9 290 81.5 frames per second average, 68 frames per second minimum, and 98 frames per second as a maximum. Now, Bittex GTX 980 was able to get 66 frames per second as a minimum and 87 frames per second as an average so a stock GTX 980 still outpacing my overclocked R9 290 by about five and a half frames per second so it's definitely a powerful card and that's only at stock so imagine what you could do while overclocked So that's it for my comparison of my overclocked R9 290 and the GTX 970 and GTX 980. I personally feel that I've got no reason to even consider upgrading to either of these cards at this moment in time, but if you're someone with an R9 280X or maybe a Nvidia GTX 770 then either one of these cards will be a decent upgrade for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.